everyone welcome back to my channel um, I wanted to do um, episode 2 which was going to be a little bit different and then I realized that one of the main thing right now I think that hurts everyone's mental health and sometimes gets in the way of us doing the things we love or doing them with joy is social media so a big thing about social media and the internet in general is it could be your best friend and it could be your worst enemy and you everybody needs to be taught I, I hope they'd actually taught kids that um, to really work with yourself and to really use the algorithm in your favor <laughs> not to hurt you so for example um, on Facebook there was a point where I was getting way too many articles like news uh, during the pandemic and I realized it was really bumming me out I was already watching the news I don't need to have a reminder of the fact that the world is like seemed like to end and it was just a weird time and um, I stopped following those and I, in fact I think you can put a thing where you're like I don't really want to see this or I'm not interested in this and I really started implementing that in e everywhere because now if I go to my Instagram it's mainly art because you know I go there because some of the people I know that I haven't seen in years post there and I get a glimpse of how they're doing but art and that is the only two reasons so I get news about art that is happening and that's what I like and and I was able to have that implemented by clicking on them you click on what you're interested they'll show you more of that when you start clicking on the silly stuff then they'll show you more of that and let's face it there's a lot of no offense but there's a lot of really stupid stuff out there uh, and sometimes that's what you need to right sometimes you just need to watch something silly but sometimes that could really hurt you as well so basically what I'm saying is you need to work with whatever you feel you need but make sure that you don't have this thing. I know I know people that have told me how like they um, compare themselves to people they see and and they feel less than sometimes after going on social media, less pretty, less, you know, young, uh, less um, talented, uh, less driven, less accomplished, whatever. There's many things you can feel when you go on social media because social media is you see this much of somebody's life and it's totally like catered and it's almost branded everybody is a brand now even if we don't want to be because you are presenting yourself to the world and you're not gonna i'm not gonna post the pictures of me in the morning looking all poofy eyed <laughs> because i don't even want to see it so it's like of course when you post stuff you're gonna post stuff that is very you know um polished and from the outside um, it can look a certain way and it can be hard to watch really it could be hard to look at everybody is doing great and everybody's doing fine and blah, and like sometimes it's just too much like for example on Instagram like there's a feature where you can hide a profile so it doesn't necessarily mean you don't want to see their content forever but maybe at that moment in your life it it's too much for whatever reason you can hide um, a profile and I think after a while they show it to you again and you can unhide it and they ask you once in a while I feel like that's happened to me but I have done that and and I use Instagram a lot for this what I'm doing right now I absolutely love watching certain people that talk about psychology that talk about mental health that talk about tips I, I talk about manifesting your best life that talk about growing self-love these for me are things that are very positive and when I watch those it makes me want to be better and it makes it gets me going so that's what I have mostly on my Instagram that in art and I love it and then I have another Instagram for journaling and that's just journals and I love it and painting sometimes but you do you cater your own life and some people would say well that's kind of strange like you're kind of I don't know but do I need to see everything that's out there all the time do I need to see stuff that I'm not interested in or bums me out or makes me think negatively or angers me no I don't like I'm not into videos of people falling that mm, that bothers me a little bit so it's like but I know people that think it's hilarious so 
you gotta pick whatever you you gotta pick but i think that it's such a big one nowadays such such a big one i just want to follow uplifting creative that's where my heart is right now and that's what makes me feel good and i'm happy when i see it now i'll be honest i remember during the pandemic i felt really bad about myself because i didn't create as much as like I have all this time I could be doing like all these this photography it's safe to do because it's underwater like you're far away from the person you could totally be doing that did none of that because I didn't feel inspired at all and I would look at Instagram and a lot of the photographers I follow that are wonderful were creating amazing pieces and I felt really down and I realized once I hit a few that actually I got a little more creative and then I was able to unhide all of them and be like okay now I'm, i just i can admire your work because i'm admiring it but not from a place of oh, i already feel bad about myself and seeing that you're doing exactly what i want to be doing and you're doing it well is a little heartbreaking that's uh yeah that's sharing a lot but i'll be honest that did happen so i don't know i think if you ever ever are on your phone and are looking at a picture on instagram or YouTube or um, Facebook and it's not, it doesn't serve you it makes you feel less than clean it up make it work for you that's all have a good day